I'm not convinced they can win a World Series the way they're playing, despite the fact that they lead the league in scoring and runs per game. But they also give up the most runs per game of any playoff team or any contending team. So what usually happens, right, what's the old adage, right, defense wins championships, right? Well, the issue is for the Yankees is that they might score a ton of runs, but they also, compared, comparative to other playoff teams, they give up a lot of runs. And what's, what usually gives when you get to the postseason? Yeah, usually it Us gets a lot harder. Yeah, usually it gets a lot harder to score Def runs. Defense has, ten has a tendency to rise it's even more. It's more important to keep the, you're right, keep the other team off the scoreboard as much as you possibly can. It's a dangerous formula. Last night's game felt like one of those. As you watched it, it made me worried. Like, I do not want to play Oakland in a division series. I don't want to play, like, in that building where they don't play well, and also a team like that. Like, there's certain teams... You worry about facing them. Like like Cleveland's bullpen we saw last night against the Mets is you know, got everybody's bullpen has issues this year though. But they're starting pitching on other teams that just feels better than what you have as the Yankees. And if I'm gonna nitpick because I can, because I have six weeks before it's gonna matter, that's the thing that continues to hang over this team. And I know I can get slapped around by, by Yankees fans who are saying, hey, idiot, they're 40 over 500. They have the best record in baseball. Why are you talking that they can't win a World Series? It's just what I see and what numbers show me tells me that I am not 100% confident this team is a World Series team. They're a playoff team, and they're a great team, but are they a great regular season team? That's what worries me. So, Herman pitched yesterday. If the playoffs were starting tonight, who are you trotting out there? Tanaka is my number one. Okay. And how Regardless do you of Herman's record, because again, his innings, you know, his lack of experience, but also the fact that I think they'll they'll try to control his innings. Tanaka is still the guy I go with in Game One, my opinion. And how do you really feel about that relative to other starting pitchers in the playoffs? Oh, you mean comparison to everybody else? Yes, I'm pretty confident with Tanaka on the mound. You feel good? Yeah, I'm 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 pretty confident when I have him out there. I'm as good as anyone in the league. It's, it's, see, again, now, my argument could be if I'm, and I, and I expect to have games one and two at home, I might go Herman in game one to give me Tanaka to make sure I get one of those games. Like, that could be the other argument. Starting at home, maybe you go Herman and go with your, your bullpen thinking that Tanaka is more of a guy that can, if you have to get a game two, if you don't get game one, he's a guy you can trust to lock it down. So if you want to go strategy-wise, that's how I'm feeling. Um... Second worst ERA of Tanaka's career this year. Worst record of his career. Everybody, because of the way the ball's flying out of the stadiums, everybody's dealing with this. I, I, you know, he's given up home runs, and I know early in games he's given up home runs. I understand that. But I also know in a big spot when they need him most, he generally shows up. So you ask me who I trust, I trust him. Yeah, I mean, Tanaka's a solid player. Now, and, and who would get but He's young, though. He's young, and, and you don't know what you're going to get in a... In a you know, who would get, is, Chris Candy always called it a high leverage moment. Who would get uh, game two? Herman, right now? Yeah. Yeah, and you know, and one of the arguments in the notes for the show is interesting, too, is what do you do with some of your other starters that you don't trust, especially early on? James Paxson's terrible early in games. First innings, horrific. So and you, that, can't, you can't afford horrific starts in the playoffs. No, of course you can't. So what do you do there? Do you, do you use Paxson almost as if Herman doesn't have a good start and you just go right to him? You, you, you basically just need three guys, you know, and, and, and how Severino going to look as he they start ramping him up and he's he going to be part of this this argument. There's a lot of uncertainty. It's amazing. Again, for a team that has the best record in the sport, they have a lot of question marks, don't they? It's, it's like, am, I, am I crazy to think no. this? You from the outside, am I crazy to look at this team and watch them on a daily basis and enjoy watching them and yet still feel I really don't know? About this team, I am not 100 percent confident about this team. No, that's not a, that's not a weird thought at all. You have, you're, you're eight, I want to be. I want to sit back with my feet up and say this is going to be easy. They're going to, you know, like '98. You just felt like they were going to crush everyone. It still wasn't easy, but you still felt like that team was so good. Well, in, even '99, 2000, they were just so good. You you knew they'd figure it out. This I just even uh, for what so you just said. Uncertainty. At this very moment, if Tanaka's your ace, let's be clear. I mean, Tanaka isn't. Across the across Major League Baseball, an ace. 
And he's their ace right now. Yeah. He's not an ace. Oh, no, no. Tanaka? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's an ace. Oh, re- he's an ace. Hold on, hold on. I think if, you, if you go into categories of pitchers, right, and in the top category of pitcher, the highest tier pitcher is DeGrom and Scherzer, which one is Tanaka in? Third? Second highest. He's not in first. He's not in the highest category of pitcher. And that's your number one pitcher. I right, take a look right there. What Yes just provided for us. Those on Thank radio, you. I'll read it to you. Postseason, five starts for Tanaka, three and two, a one five zero ERA in That's 30 innings. That's a really 17 good. hits, right? Hits to innings. Walks to strike a 7 to 25. The whip is .80. That's why I trust him. Right there. Those numbers. You know, regular you're, you're choosing those numbers thing. over this year's regular season numbers. I'm choosing what I know. What do I know? Well, what you I can, know you is know in the postseason. Regular season, season numbers as well. In the postseason. I, I've said high leverage. That's a Chris Canny phrase. I love it. He is a guy you can rely on. That's ace kind of stuff. 